I'm Professor Seth Fry, and we're going to talk for a little bit about uh, how you get help. You may have noticed by now that as much as I'm into the specifics of how to code, I'm also very much into teaching you explicitly a lot of the ecosystem around code. You're going to uh, encounter problems. You're going to beat your head against the wall for uh, an hour, maybe hours. I've sat for four hours with some stupid mistake that's so frustrating uh, and not knowing what you could have done about it. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a couple strategies for how you can cut that four hours down to hopefully 10 minutes, half an hour, something shorter. A certain amount of banging your head against the wall is inevitable. Everyone does it. It's just kind of part of it. I know that's awful. That's what we mean when we say steep learning curve. However, there are things you can do uh, to, to get yourself up that curve quicker uh, and to make you feel more secure as you're scaling the, 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 the first of it. Uh, now, the, the four general strategies are going to be asking. Uh, I'll give you a little, uh, some tips about literally what it, how to ask for help. Um, uh, your main resources are going to be Google, um, uh, course resources uh, provided during this course, and, uh, and friends and acquaintances. So uh, first, uh, there's this funny thing that it's hard to know when you're in a totally new domain, you don't even know which way is up. It's hard to ask for help because you don't know what you need help with exactly. You just don't know that you, what to do. And all you know is you don't know what to do. You don't, you're, you're faced with a problem. You don't even know the first step. You don't even know how to proceed on starting to solve it. And so this is a, this is a, a problem I've encountered from my students. So what I say is uh, you're just allowed to say help. You're allowed to say I need help and I don't know how or why I need help. Uh, you're allowed to say, I don't even know where to start. Those are, that's a legitimate question. And you're allowed to legitimately say that that's not stupid. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. That's going to happen to you. And, uh, and it can happen to you here. And once you've recognized you're in that position and recognized uh, uh, um, that you don't know how to move forward, there's a couple of things you can do from there. So first, there's lots of course resources. The point of this course is to help you get through the, the hardest part of the learning curve. And so I've prepared a lot of lesson notebooks and videos to walk you through every single command, a lot of support lectures. Um, I'm hooking you up with other people in the course so you can provide peer support uh, and talk to each other and help each other out. Um, it's totally legitimate to ask each other for help and to help each other. Um, I define cheating. Cheating's a thing. It exists. I'll tell you what is cheating and what's not cheating uh, so that you can feel secure asking for each other's help, getting help. And of course, um, we have a, a course content management uh, system, a question answering system. You can, of course, post questions directly to me, to your RAs, to the class, and get all the support you need during this class. Now, um, of course, course resources are the first place to turn. However, I don't want them to be your only crutch because let's say you want to keep uh, tweaking code or keep, keep learning and modifying once you leave. Um, Piazza, you know, a course management system, uh, uh, your, your peer groups uh, aren't always going to be here for you. I want you to have resources that you can keep turning to. I want as much continuity uh, between the end of the term and the, the, the first week of summer or the, the, the first week of the next term. So uh, I encourage you, in addition to relying on course resources for help, I want you to, to have access to a couple other strategies. Google, of course. Um, uh, if it's not already, it's going to be a, a, a great resource. Now, um, Googling code problems, the first place to start is to just take your error message, whatever error message you're getting, and Google that. Now, sometimes that's going to point you immediately to a little snippet of, of a solution, and you'll just instantly see what's wrong. Other times, you'll end up kind of down a rabbit hole. I'd say in your very beginning days, don't go too far down the rabbit hole. Hit a couple links. Skim them real quick. See if a, a solution just jumps out at you. If it doesn't, don't feel bad. Just sort of give up on Googling and, and lean on one of your other resources. As you get better, one thing you're going to pick up on or learn, this, is, uh, this sounds like kind of magic. You're going to learn that you're going to learn it this way. You'll be like, okay, well, I know if I knew the vocabulary term I'm after, the jargon I'm after, I could just Google that and I would get an answer right away. But I don't know what I'm trying to Google for. I don't know that jargon term. So uh, I'm going to, uh, so how do I Google for 
some resource that has that jargon term. You're going to get better at that sort of mystical backwards Googling thing of Googling for what you should be Googling for. You're going to learn how to sort of look at some code or, or, or while you've first Googled for the thing that you think it should be called, you're kind of reading answers of people and you see someone use some term that sort of seems relevant, but you don't know what it means. So you'll just take that and Google that. So like maybe three hops down, you'll find out what you're looking for. You'll find the jargon. Now, as much as possible, I try to spare you that in the lesson notebooks. I always tell you like the human name, the intuitive name for a thing. And then I also tell you what its jargon is. So that if you're ever Googling for what that thing is, you know exactly what jargon to put into Google and, and find precisely what you're looking for with as little head banging as possible. So uh, having, uh, having gone through uh, Google, having gone through course resources, really the best support network you can build uh, in, your, in, a, in, a, in, your, in your immediate journey of learning the, this introduction to, to coding on the web, but also just down the line is having friends and acquaintances who also have some literacy in the kind of thing you're after. Just one great winner, real easy, is Data Coder. Um, they uh, they want to help. They're going to help. They sort of have to help. Uh, and now, if you're not in that kind of position, maybe you've got a friend who's really good, um, who, who loves helping, who, like me, loves giving people access to these new tools and new ways of thinking. Now, short of that, you don't have uh, some lover, uh, you don't have a close friend, maybe you have an acquaintance, someone you're kind of okay with, you know that they have, they're have really good, they have access to this way of thinking, and you found out what makes them tick. You found out they have this transactional personality, they'll be totally happy to help you, even though you don't know them that well, for a cup of coffee, a quick lunch or something. There's someone you can go to for a quick question. Uh, there are certain things, I know this sounds crazy, there are certain things that could take you four hours that, that you send them a little clean couple of lines of code, they'll just spot your problem in two seconds. And so it's, it, it's some, uh, the, you can be a big burden. You can go about this wrong, but there's a way you can be, and you'll learn this, um, that puts as little a burden, almost no burden on some really experienced person uh, to save you those hours and hours of banging your head against the wall. So, um, this, the, uh, this is your introduction into how to get help when you reach a point that you just have no idea what to do. Uh, giving you a little advice on what it means to ask for help when you don't know exactly what you need help with. And uh, of course, I point you to resources, course resources, um, uh, how to use and how not to use Google. Please don't spend too long. Just like try it out. If it works right away, great. If not, don't. And uh, how to lean as much as possible on friends and acquaintances. Uh, so hopefully that gets you off to, uh, uh, to an increasingly good start through the term.